Does your application call for a hose pump or a tubing pump? In this video, we'll take a look. The identifying characteristic of tubing pumps is the use of thin-walled flexible tubing as the pumping element. Tubing is soft, compressible by hand, and suitable for low-pressure application. Tubing is supplied in a continuous length and may also be supplied as a pre-made element with fittings attached. Tubing pumps are suited to high accuracy pumping at low flow rates and some models can reach flows of several gallons per minute when needed. Tubing pumps use rollers to compress the tube. Rollers create very little friction and heat and spring-loaded rollers allow gradual compression of the tube reducing stress and increasing tube life. The Vantage 5000 pump is a cage drive pump with componentry all inclusive to a NEMA 4X enclosure. A more economical and less feature-rich arrangement includes a tube pump head coupled to an industrial gear reducer and motor. Hose pumps, by contrast, use a thick-walled, fiber-reinforced hose as the pumping element. Depending on size, hoses can require over a thousand pounds of force to fully compress. Small hose pumps are ideal for metering low flow at high pressure, and the largest hose pumps are capable of flow nearing 400 gallons per minute. Hose pumps use elliptical pressing shoes instead of rollers for hose compression. Friction is mitigated by a bath of either glycerin or silicone-based hose lubricant. Vertiflex Dura hose pumps are close coupled and are equipped with commercially available motors, gear reducers, and variable frequency drives. In order to select the best technology for an application, first consider the flow rate. Low flows up to one gallon per minute are likely suited to a tube pump, while for higher flows, a hose pump is more appropriate. Tubing is too soft to handle abrasive products so hose pumps should be selected if there is a chance of abrasion. Tubing generally has a thickness of 1 8 inch or less, making it a poor choice in applications over 30 psi. Hoses have much greater wall thickness and reinforcement and can handle 200 psi or more. Because hoses are reinforced, viscosity will have little to no effect on pump flow rate. By contrast, Tubing will not properly restitute at elevated viscosity and flow rate will be reduced. Tube pumps, however, are the best option where highly consistent metering is required with accuracy of plus or minus half of a percent. Hose pumps can provide similar accuracy, however, over a more narrow range of flows. In this application, a hose pump was selected due to the abrasive nature of lime slurry. Hoses have a higher durometer than tubing and therefore much more capable of withstanding abrasive wear. Sodium hypochlorite is used as a disinfectant, typically required in low doses with high accuracy. This chemical is water-like in viscosity with no solids, so a tube pump is the best option. Some projects entail several applications with various chemicals, flows, and pressures. Vertiflex offers the application knowledge and product depth to correctly specify equipment, as shown at this installation where abrasive service required hose pumps and sensitive metering called for tube pumps. Thank you for watching this video from Verter. We look forward to working together with you very soon.